Hi, I'm Rick Dior, and today we're going to compare two really great orchestral snare drums. Here we have a Ludwig orchestra snare drum, which is maple. And to my right, we have a Pearl Philharmonic orchestra snare drum, which is Bubinga ply. So uh, great drums, some different characteristics. First of all, no drum in this class this higher class is better than the other. They're just different. So if you're deciding what to buy, I'm hoping that this video can help you. I'll tell you the certain sort of characteristics of each drum. Now, I own many of these types of Pearl Philharmonic drums with many kinds of shells, maple, brass, aluminum. I only own one of these Ludwig drums, and I kind of helped them develop this orchestra drum. I'm very fond of the drum. It's got a different kind of sound. So today I hope, like I said, I can help you decide what would be best for you. You do have more options in the Pearl Philharmonic. I believe the Ludwig options right now, you can get the copper shell or you can get the maple shell. In the Pearl Philharmonic, there's, it's maybe, you know, you have a dozen different models. So I'm not sure if Ludwig's going to catch up to that. But they've done great so far with what they offer. So the Ludwig has sort of a newly developed strainer, which uses their normal snare drum strainer with a little extra cam in the throw off that makes it extremely smooth. And three separate snare mechanisms. If we look under the hood, you'll see those three. Very similar to the Pearl. And the Pearl strainer, we all know this strainer very well. It's a fantastic strainer. It's got a great track record. They just updated it. it. has the same three adjustments for the different snares. And I'm sure most of you who are interested in this video have seen what these look like. And then we'll go to the other end where the butt plate is. And this is the Pearl. And this has one adjustment for all three. The Ludwig, however, and we talked about this when we were developing it, has one for each, which is very handy for balancing them. So the Ludwig has the pearl beat there. So we'll go back around. As far as the depth of these drums go, they're identical. So I'll turn this off. Now, I'm a huge fan of pearl snare drums. And I also have some Clevelander snare drums, I love those, and several other different types. I have Hinger snare drums. I have videos on all these if you search my channel. So I'm not beholden to one drum when I play in the orchestra. But they all do sound different, so you have to choose your sound. So I feel like the Ludwig drum is a little uh, more forgiving. In other words, it's a little more mellow, and it's not as bright. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take off this muffling. I normally do use muffling when I play with an orchestra because you don't want that much ring. But I'll let you hear the ring from these. And to be fair, what we're going to do is put this on here so we don't get any sympathetic vibration. And now the pearl. So right away you hear the Pearl is a little more articulate while the Ludwig's is a little bit softer, smoother. So 
for me it's also a little bit easier to roll on for whatever reason. Now I'm going to put this muffling back on here. You don't have to use this kind of muffling. There's lots of things you can use. You can even use a handkerchief. That's what they did in the old days. Now, uh, the heads I'm using, I normally use a diplomat uh, on, a Remo diplomat on my orchestral snare drums. This came with this hazy Renaissance head, which is a great head, on the Pearl. I haven't changed it because it sounded good right away. The Ludwig also, they make their own heads, but the Remo makes their concert heads. So the diplomat thickness here. Now, as far as adjustability goes uh, with the strainers, they're pretty much identical. I'm really pleased with the way this Ludwig strainer turned out. There's no exceptional rattle when you turn off the snares, except from the other snare drum. And the pearl. They're both great. The bubinga is going to give you a little more of a sharp attack because it's a very hard wood where the maple will be softer. Ludwig does not offer a bubinga shell that I know of at this point. Pearl does offer maple shells. So what I want to do is to show you the snare mechanisms before we leave. I'm using these pearl snare stands, which I really like, but it's kind of a bear to get off. So we'll turn this camera back on. So you see what's going on here. We have the curly snares in the middle, then we have some wire, two kinds, and then we have cable, coated cable. Now on the pearl drum, we have curly snares once again, and you can swap any of these out. And then we have the cable, and then we have a coated wire, similar to like a hanger drum. It's a little bit different in there, a little bit different. But they're not using the same snares if you, if you thought they were. Some people do think they are. They are not. They're completely different. But they sound similar. They were both react great. So I'll turn this off for you and flip this over. So as far as which one I think is better, like I said in the original opening of this video, I don't think either of them are better. I think they're different. I think they're both fantastic drums. And you can't go wrong with either one of them. Uh, I think price-wise, you might be able to get a little bit better deal on the pearls at this time because there's so many and you might see them used from time to time. Where the Ludwigs, I haven't seen any used because they're so new. So we'll just play a little for you, and we'll call it a day.